Hi, I'm Ashula Fernando. I'm going to say a few words about a feature that all of us adore. It's about Reverend Sister Chandani Jayasurya. So when I was in school, uh, I was the health club president where we had this project where we did a, a kind of a project where we brought all the people from rural areas, like all the little girls, just to show how Colombo is. So when we were like having this event where we were having all the entertainment uh, sessions, I myself alone went to the washroom just to clean around 16 toilets. So then, then I figured somebody with the, like a white logo coming around and I figured I was just scared. And then she started scolding me, why are you using my Harpic bottle and why are you finishing it all of a sudden? And then I was really, really upset. So then after the next day, it was a Monday, we had this assembly where our sister announced and I never expected that for her. Like she was like, you know, Ashila did wash around 16 toilets alone and that is what you call a true leader. So sister, thank you so much. Those words are still inside my heart. Hi, my name is Maria. So a teacher we remember very fondly when I was back at Bridget's is Miss Rashika. She was our home economics teacher and she made our days at school very memorable. One thing I remember most about her was even though she was our home economics teacher, she made sure we passed all nine subjects. So she gave us maths classes at her house. And one time she took us all the way to Norelia for practical lessons and a cookery demonstration. So at this Norelia trip, she even got us a DJ and for a bunch of convent girls, this was a big deal for us. She's undoubtedly one of the best teachers our school could have ever had. Hi, my name is Harshini, this is Sajana. So we are here to talk about a very special teacher back when we were in Stafford. Yeah, so hi miss, we're really grateful for everything you've done. And also, um, we are here today, as in, we've all succeeded in life because of the foundation you've laid down for us. And uh, I think the, what you've given us is much more than what any other teacher could give us. You've made us fall in love with the subject that you taught us, and most of us pursued that career path. So thank you for that, Miss, and we are truly grateful. So a cute memory would be, um, we were in class and we were making so much noise. It was really, we were really bad, like we were so naughty. And she's like the most chill teacher ever, but she left, like she couldn't teach us anymore. She just abandoned the class and she went because she was so angry. And the next day she comes and apologizes to us, whereas we were the ones who were supposed to apologize to her. So. That was easily the cutest moment I can remember of her because Miss Nirosha, uh, even though uh, you probably don't teach anymore, what you taught us is means much more to us than you could ever possibly imagine. So we love you, we miss you and... and thank you for all the cool memories. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Tarusha. So one of the teachers who had a lasting impression on me when I was studying at Ananda was Madam Kokila Dharmaratna. So as to how I met her was when I was in grade 6 or so, um, so I was at the school gate and I wanted to call my father because he was getting late. So a lady walked by and I told her, Auntie can I have your cell phone, can I borrow your cell phone uh, to take a phone call. Unfortunately she was actually teaching at Anand at the time and I really didn't know. So she, she, was, she kept her cool, alright, but then again the next day I got to know that she was actually teaching at Anand. Um, Fast forward a few years, uh, then I met her at grade 10 when she was a uh, uh, student coordinator for uh, Model United Nations Association. So at the time, she was basically our saviour. When her interests, when her own interests, her profession was at stake, she always stood up for us with the school administration or what so. Uh, one of the incidents that I remember was where we organised this MUN conference at Hilton and we had this financial issue with the, uh, the school administration. For that particular financial issue, she, we, we couldn't do anything about it. Students couldn't do anything about it. So I remember her going up to the administration and saying, look, I'm not doing this for, this, uh, for myself, uh, no the administration, nothing else, but I'm doing this for the students themselves. Right? Uh, that kept a lasting impression on me. Hi, my name is Grace Vikram Singh and a teacher I remember most fondly is Mrs. Raj Singh. She passed away um, right after I finished my A-levels um, and she taught us literature. 
I think one of the first instances I met her was probably when I was in grade three or four. I just caught a glimpse of her and she looked so much like one of our principals. And there used to be a rumor going around in school saying like she was like this mysterious ghost of like uh, Principal Matuani, uh, who was a principal from the 1940s. When I decided that I wanted to do literature, um, Mrs. Raj had a reputation of being a very strict teacher and someone who's so tiny but with a very intimidating and big personality. I was pleasantly surprised about how kind and thoughtful she was um, and how interesting she taught us the language and the subject. She was, um, she was very strict, definitely, I would say. She was very particular and peculiar, but she also had a very soft side. Even if I like, fell asleep during class or anything like that, she, she wouldn't really like, care too much. She'd always just call me aside and ask me, like, are you okay? Like, she taught me a lot more than the subject. I think she made an impact on a lot of people and I can't really speak about her without tearing up because uh, she passed away right before I got my results. Hi, my name is Suhela Benaika and I used to school at Ladies College. So something I guess none of us really understand is the impact of what it's like to actually be a teacher, of how hard it is to be a teacher until you actually have to undergo teaching somebody. And for me, my most favorite teacher is Miss Ranmali Balasurya from Ladies College. She used to teach me Greek and Roman civilization. Previously, she used to teach me English literature when I was like about nine or 10 years old, but there on when I did my a level she taught me Greek and Roman civilization. And she was such an amazing teacher. She taught me things that I would never even imagine of how to explore history in a way that we so narrowly think is uninteresting to us all. She always made it fun in the class. She would always make sure that we had a good time while learning a subject as so-called boring as history, like Greek and Roman civilization. She would always make sure to put in a joke during the class, give us a break when we felt like it, free periods whenever we wanted it, but somehow at the end of the day we all got the results that were expected, which were good, I would like to say. And it's because of how she influenced me in school, of making history so interesting, of making sure that I understood the importance of understanding Roman and Greek history is what pushed me to follow an English literature course and actually pursue going abroad to Europe and doing a foreign exchange program in Poland. Being in school was never easy, but being with a teacher who was willing to put our needs over hers it was, is what made me like Ms. Ranmali Balasurya so much. Hi guys, um, my name is Shehara Fernando. I am a past student of St. Joseph's College. Um, so I'm here actually to talk about a teacher that has touched our hearts throughout our, our stay at St. Joseph's. He was our class teacher, he was my class teacher from grade 10 to 11 during our O levels which was a prime moment in our lives. This is none other than Mr. Dimuth Fernando. He instilled the fact of forgiving in us. He was the person who taught us to forgive. So once, um, so we had, we had the chalk duster, right? Back in the day, there were, there were no uh, whiteboards. It was, it was chalk that you use. So we used the duster and uh, we had chalk dust on the chair. Well, sir didn't know about that. He came, sat down and uh, he, had, he had the chalk marks on his pants. Uh, he did get to know though, he got to know that there was, there was a chalk mark on his pants. We got blackguarded, we got pulled out. Um, the moment we said sorry, we were back in class. So, um, Dimutsa, thank you very much for being who you are, for, for instilling the fact of forgiving, for motivating us during our O-level time. And not only Dimutsa actually, all the teachers, thank you very much for all the teachers at St. Joseph's. You guys rock. Keep doing what you are doing. God bless you. Hi, I'm Adrian. Hi, I'm Shishi. And one of the greatest teachers we had back from Lyceum Vatara is late Ms. Shirani Kurev. She was our O-level and A-level mathematics teacher, joining Lyceum 12 years ago in 2006. Unfortunately, we lost her earlier this year in her battle against cancer. She was undoubtedly a teacher who's made a huge impression on the lives of many students who were at Lyceum. 
Whereas there were many teachers who were rushing through the syllabus, we had Ms. Shirani who would explain the lesson word by word because she was so keen on making sure that even the slowest of students in the class would grasp the content. And I know this for a fact because I was one of those slow students. She, teacher Shirani was Ami's teacher nearly 25 years ago. And to have her again as my teacher, teaching with that same enthusiasm was something that I found really admiring. Ms. Shirani had a unique aura to her. She was calm, gentle and never lost her temper. Vanakkam, I Bovan. I'm Timuron Carvalho, a past student of St. Joseph's College. In Tamil, they say, Mada, Pida, Guru, Devam. Do you know why they put Devam and Guru next to each other? Okay, to answer that question, I need to clear out what is Guru is. Gu means darkness, Ru means the dispeller, meaning a person who dispels the darkness is a Guru. I had many of them in my school days but definitely two of them are very special, who is Miss Victoria as well as Suri Sir. The reason why, because they are the ones who found my inner self and made me feel very comfortable indirectly by putting me as a monitor at least once in a term. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for your service.